Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at finding the area of a square. To find the area of a square, you just need to know the side because the formula for area is equal to the side squared. So let's give this side a length. Let's say that it's 8. So your area would just be 8 squared, which is 64. And the units are always square units, so we would have 64 square units. Okay, let's say that you've got a square, but this time instead of being given the side, let's say you're given the diagonal. Okay, to find the area of the square, you need to find the side because the formula is uh, area equals the side squared. So to work this triangle or to work to the side, we're going to have to use a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So let's draw in our right angle here. And these two angles here and here are both 45 degrees because the diagonal bisects that 90 degree angle. So we're going to isolate this right triangle right here. Okay, so the rule for a 45, 45, 90 is x, x for each leg, and then x root 2 for the hypotenuse, which is the diagonal of the right of the triangle, uh, or of the square. So I'm going to take 14 and set it equal to x root 2. 2 to get the x by itself or to, so to solve for the side you're going to divide by the square root of 2 so 14 divided by the square root of 2 is just simply 7 square root 2 so that is the side of our square so the side of the square is 7 square root 2 so now we're going to take that 7 square root 2 and plug it back into our area formula so let's plug that in. 7 square root 2 quantity squared. Okay, when you square a number that has both a, a constant and a square root, when you're going to square each part. So you're going to square the 7, so that's 7 squared, and you're going to square the square root portion, square root squared. So 7 squared is 49. The square root of uh, 2 squared just they cancel each other because they're opposite operations so you're just left with a 2 so 49 times 2 is 98 square units so that is the area of the square and you work from the diagonal or back to the side by dividing by the square root of 2 and then once you find the side you plug it into your area formula to find the area of the square hope this video was helpful